Today I'm here to cover the unique properties of the refillable cartridge system. Um, if you read the directions, it pretty much covers what we're going to have in this video. But the first thing I'd like to say about ink cartridges of any kind is that there is, quote, no magic dipstick that lets the computer know that the ink is actually out. As consumers, we should be physically outraged that uh, traditional cartridges aren't clear, we can't see in them, and if you can really get the uh, manufacturers to admit it, and they will, um, there can be as much as a third of an ink cartridge left of ink when it says it's actually out. So one of the biggest questions I get with the refill system, when you refill them on your own, you're probably never going to have an accurate reading between when the cartridge is actually out and when the computer, quote, thinks that it's out of ink. Um, here I'm decided to create this video because I got the traditional warning that I need to change a cartridge because it's, quote, out of ink. So I'm gonna pull this here and kind of show you that indeed there is plenty of ink, but typically when I hit about the halfway mark because I get on a roll of, of printing, I like to go ahead and refill it. But before I get to that portion, I wanna show you, in case this happens to be a first time install that you're watching these, um, your cartridges get sent to you um, like this in a nice neat little box. But you'll notice a difference here. Um, I pulled it out already. They have a little clear, I'm trying to get this to focus, little clear plastic stopper right here the irony is that it says, do not remove. I have a feeling the do not remove is supposed to be referring to that sticker, though I'm not sure why, because you absolutely, if you do not pull this little stopper out, it will not print. Um, you can throw them away. Um, I suppose if you're planning on doing a lot of traveling with your cartridges, I suppose you could throw them in a Ziploc bag and save them because it's gonna you know, leak some ink if you're traveling with them. But the stopper you want to take out is this one, and that's where you refill it. This little hole is only there for the purposes of airflow. Okay, back to my actual printer. So if you can see in this video, right here, um, the cyan was illuminated as, as being out. So this is the one that the computer quote thinks is out of ink. So I take the blue tab, now, in general, I recommend gloves because it can be messy, and you'll see it's, it's not that it's messy, messy. It's mostly when you stick that little stopper back in that you get ink on your fingers. So here, and I'm being my own photographer as well as, uh, <laughs> so here. So see, just the little needle end here um, goes in, and I guess I should turn this around, and I squeeze. Now, I don't squeeze until it's, you obviously don't want it all over the top because this stuff really badly um, stains. Actually, it's, it's pretty darn full. I'm gonna pull it out, but this is your real culprit and why you need gloves. See how there's like a little bit of residue that's left over? That's what can get on your fingers and probably will because I chose not to use gloves. Um, so I pick up my little stopper, which also is a culprit of getting ink on your fingers and stick it there. And oh, not too bad. Okay, but that's that's why you wear gloves. It's really not necessary if you do get ink on you. It does scrub off pretty easily. Um, if you've got a uh, particularly bad stain, you can get it off with a pumice stone. Um, so now, once the cartridge is refilled, now at this point, this is where I typically go through and pull all of them and, and check and see the levels, and they all probably need to be refilled, but you don't need to watch me go through that whole boring thing for the purpose of this video. At this point, just as per regular directions, which by the way are here in little pictograms, you simply um, shut the cartridge casing, you hit the illuminated ink button, which I guess before I started this video, once it says it's out, you do need to hit this first, and so this goes into place so that you can open it. So I apologize for doing this a little out of order. And now we will simply hit it again. It's gonna do its little magic recharging. It's gonna suck some of that ink back into the print heads and it's going to resume. So you never wanna pull any um, print out that's going midway. It'll just waste it and probably the next piece of paper because it'll probably try to pick up where it left off. So you simply just wanna hit that ink button and get it going. Now here, oh, here what happened, what a lot of people complain about is truly maddening. Another ink is out. Okay, so you hit the ink button again. Now I can demonstrate it. As you can see, it comes over. 
So we open it up. Now, if for some reason it was full or you wanted to go ahead and continue and maybe you didn't have time to fill it at this point, though it is pretty low, so you probably want to fill it, you could truly just pop it up and pop it back in and it would resume. That's why in some cases you will run into issues where you've got ink colors that are off or problems. And the first thing I say to people, I'm like, are you out of ink? And they'll go, well, no, I didn't say I was out of ink. Again, if you're refilling at an off cycle, which I do all the time, because while I'm getting my hands dirty, I go ahead and get my hands dirty with something else. When you're off your cycle, you're going to be off printing with your ink. Uh, the final thing, I got lots of little bottles here, little half bottles. Um, I had people ask me about this is simply um, marketed as a refrigerator bin. I've seen bins like this at the dollar store. I just love it for keeping all my ink together. Uh, apparently, I don't go anywhere near as much as the light uh, magenta as I do some other colors. But uh, that's it. That's the basics. Act like regular cartridges. Make sure you always pull the stopper out. Always refill only with the colored stoppers. Make sure you've clicked them firmly into place. Definitely make sure you take out the one that's lit up so that chip releases, goes back in. So the printer and the computer have been tricked into thinking that it got a new cartridge. And when you're finished, shut the door, hit the button, and you're all done. Thank you so much for sharing these few minutes with me. Happy printing.